Hey everyone, we're going to verify trig identities involving tan and cotan and with different angles. Before we've only used one angle, theta. Now we have two different ones. So we want uh, the left side to look like the right side. The right side is written in terms of tan, but we have cotan here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just write this with um, tan as a trig ratio. So it's going to be 1 over um, tan of alpha plus 1 over tan of beta. Now, when you do that, um, I'm going to go ahead and get my common denominator for the denominator. So I'm going to just copy my numerator again. And my common denominator is tan of alpha, tan of beta. And I'm going to go ahead and cross and just write this as tan of beta plus um, tan of alpha. Now, um, what this means is we have tan of alpha plus tan of beta divided by tan of beta plus tan of alpha over tan of alpha tan of beta. Now, change this to a multiply sign, multiplication sign, and flip your denominator and numerator. And what happens is these cancel out, and you're left with tan of alpha plus tan of beta, which is our desired result. Okay, the next problem is very similar, a little more complicated. Um, everything's written in terms of tan and cotan with two different angles, plus um, it's, quite, it's longer, and it's supposed to equal zero. So basically, uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and foil all this out. I'm going to foil out the, this part first, so I get tan, um, let's see, I'm going to distribute, so you get tan of alpha plus tan of beta minus tan of alpha cotan of alpha with cotan of beta. So I basically just distributed here. And then you have um, minus, and I'm going to keep writing down here, tan of beta, cotan of alpha, cotan of beta. That's this part. All right, and then we have plus, mm, let me see, I don't know where I'm at. Okay, minus tan of alpha cotan of beta plus cotan of alpha, now I'm doing the second part, plus cotan of beta, that's the one times both of those. And then you have to write the last part, <coughs> which is minus cotan of alpha, tan of alpha, tan of beta, minus, so we're doing this next part, minus cotan, I'm doing this part, of beta, um, times tan of alpha, tan of beta. All I did was foil here. Okay, so cleaning this all up, you're going to get uh, let's do it in a different color. It's getting too purpley. Tan of alpha plus tan of beta, because things are canceling out here. And minus tan of alpha. All right, let's see. 
tan of beta minus cotan of beta minus cotan of alpha plus cotan of alpha plus cotan of beta minus tan of beta minus tan of alpha. And that's all going to give you, so I'm basically copying this down, um, copying the rest down, these two, and a lot of the stuff is canceling out, and it, it's all going to be equal to zero. It's kind of confusing, but that's what it is. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.